Hello, it's Karma here, your reviewing sensation that's sweeping the nation. Today, I'm going to be doing a mini after show, as in recap and thoughts, on the season 3 premiere of Kyle XY on ABC Family. And if you'll notice, I'm in a little bit of a different environment today. I am in a bathtub, because what better place to do a Kyle XY review than in a tub? Fans, you'll know what I'm doing. Other people are going to be like, why is she in a bathtub? Why are you watching this if you're not a Carl Swift fan? Let's start with a quick recap because I don't want this video to be super duper long. This season pretty much takes place exactly like moments after what happened last season. Kyle is running around looking for Amanda and he's like, Amanda, where are you? And then he's like, what? Let not ring. Electrocution! And he gets electrocuted. And then he wakes up and he's like, Amanda! And all these cords are like hooked to his head. He's kind of in a hospital room. Or it, it vaguely looks like that. And he uses telekinesis to get out of that situation. And then he runs home and he's like, Triggers, Amanda is missing. And they're like, oh snap, we need to find her and keep her mother busy. And then Jessie's with Sarah, her mom, and she runs into this dude. And I have to admit, I knew who this dude was and that he worked for Latinoff before they told us because in my December issue, TV Guy featuring... Matt Dallas, my lover, there is a small snippet about that dude. He was actually on another ABC Family show, The Fallen, which I love. So I knew he worked for Light Knock. That wasn't a big surprise, but I act surprised. <gasps> what? And then she leaves to go with her mom, and then she's like, oh, headache, huh, telepathy, connection. Kyle's in trouble. Da -da -da -da. And she runs to help Kyle. So Kyle goes to the place where, they, where he awoke. And he sees Jesse there, and they build some sort of topographical map, map out of chalk, like in chalk zone, chalk, 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 chalk zone. And they go try to find Amanda. Meanwhile, Lori walks in on a prom after party to find Hillary and Declan making out. I think it was in a tub. It might not be. I'm actually doing this review a day early because I already saw the episode about a week ago because I have my connections. So I don't remember. And she's like, oh no! And they're like, oh, wah, wah, wah. Like, ruin the moment, Laurie. Meanwhile, Andy and Andy and Andy and Josh <laughs> are debating having sex, but I'm worried about Kyle, not anybody else this episode. So they're running, running, and I also saw this scene because I someone stuck a camera into Comic-Con. Yes. And I saw this scene. So Kyle and Jesse are running, running, and they're like, we'll handle this my way. With Chop Suey! hi -ya! And they're like, she's like, go get your prom date, Kyle. Mm-hmm. And Jesse holds this guy up by his neck, and she's like, what do they want with Kyle? And he goes, they have a plan. Oh, and then like falls over. Kyle's running. He's running. And he uses his water bending. I'm an Avatar fan, so whatever you want to call it. His water bending to bust, Je bust Amanda out. She's like unconscious. She's like, Bleh! And he passes her off to Jesse. It's a game of hot potato, Kyle XY style. Hot potato, hot potato. Whoever is up with Amanda loses their powers. I don't know. So then Kyle is like, we're not letting her go. And the dude's like, oh. Except for the no part, that was added. I know, right? It was like almost the same thing. How do I do these reenactments? He wakes up and dude from TV Guide, Homie homeboy walks in. He's like, "Hello, Kyle." It's my best accent I could do right now. We're from Light Knock, and your powers amaze us. We just want to get to know you. If you want to get to know him, request him as a friend on Facebook or MySpace. There's no need to kidnap his wifey. Okay, come on. Meanwhile, Kyle's like, "I don't want to get to know you." Huzzah! And he runs away, and then we find out that the DJ who liked it, Laurie, can't remember his name, really don't care. <laughs> he is working for Light Knock. I knew it. I knew it from last season's finale that he was a little too suspicious. Whatever. I feel bad for Lori because she's been hurt by Declan so much, but what are you going to do? Anyway, so then Kyle's talking to a man on the phone. He's like, okay, good night. And then she turns over, and on her neck is a dot. And if it was any other TV show, I'd be like, vampire bite. She's going to turn to a vampire. No. It's probably something they put in her. I'm assuming it's a sort of virus to see if Kyle can cure her like he did with Andy. Who knows? So that's my recap. Not too detailed. You don't want to get lengthy. This is like my third take. Basically, it was a really good episode. There were a lot of shockers. It gave a lot of closure, which is what a season opener should do. It gave closure while still maintaining some mystery. So I'm hoping we get a lot of 
fillers this season and the fact that Kyle X Y sometimes has short seasons. Season 1 was short. I don't know what they're going to do with all of season 3 so far. But we haven't seen it since May and I'm hoping they give us really really big like groundbreaking like oh what? Say what? Because we haven't seen it in a while and I need my Kyle X Y fix. But I like it. It's a pretty good season. i hoping that I want to see Latnoff's plan. I, they want to get to know him. I don't know what that means. No, not like that. I don't know what that means, but that's my recap and thought, my mini after show. So maybe I'll do all my all my reviews in bathtubs. I don't know how that's tell me what you think. I don't know. But tune in to Kyle X Y next week. I don't know what the preview is for next week because like I said, I watched an episode about a week ago. Don't know. I hope you enjoyed the recap. If you missed it or you just weren't paying attention very well. And my thoughts, give me your thoughts, let me know. And I will see you next time. Bathtub power!